yesterday these other recordings of uh, terrain that I got a view from from our flight and I honestly liked it a lot it was a cool sightseeing that's one thing about travels is that there's a lot of interesting things you can see from above there's a pretty cool experience uh, on that plane then this lake right here reminds me of some from GTA now a jump cut we didn't really get a I didn't really get a hotel tour but we did get up in the morning to go to the beach and stuff uh, so you know we was basically there early so it's just us we didn't really want to be around people but I did see a cave well I thought it was a cave but it wasn't but then uh, we actually went back either to the hotel yeah, we went back to the hotel, then we uh, came back uh, to the beach again, and we uh, walked down there. Uh, this actually could have been the day after, and basically that's where most of our uh, what we did on our trips. We got churros from this uh, nice guy. Uh, I think he's from Mexico, and he moved here, but I don't exactly remember. This guy gave us a coconut to drink. He did tell us that uh, once we're done, we can come back so he can open it up and then start cutting it up. And then we started having these. Um, he, uh, I picked two different flavors so I could uh, try two different flavors. But yeah, yeah. It was very hard to choose, so I gave up because I didn't feel like doing all that. I wanted to try other things to eat. Because I just, I liked food. Just like food. But because this is so good, I, I don't want to share. Then we was, so uh, really this probably had been on the second day. Yeah, this is the second day recording because last time the tide was coming up, uh, the tide was uh, rough, so we had to wait the next day until it calmed down. But it was a really good view, and I'm glad I got that view. It was a good thing I deleted some storage to be able to uh, record that uh, scene because I was in a bit of a struggle and I was getting really irritated. But I'm talking that being there in person, the water was very colorful and I really liked it that much. It was truly a sight scene. Of the cave, the only irritation was the uh, ceiling because I had to duck down and stuff, and not just that it was wet, so I was a bit worried about slipping. Because you know, I like caves, so my only issue is like something happening to the point where it just it collapses on us, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much the claustrophobic uh, kind of thing people have to deal with. I mean, I'm not cla claustrophobic, but I'm just saying that that's what it probably comes from, is being crushed. The fear of being crushed in uh, small spaces. And then we got a shot of views from, uh, there was actually a seal in that uh, cave, and there was some birds and stuff, and there was also some canoers uh, that was near the area. And yeah. So we were about to head back up and stuff, and I was trying to make, uh, I let my mom go first, uh, so, you know, just because I guess ladies go first, or probably I was just trying to make sure she would be okay. I don't know. But 
yeah, there was a lot of steps, so I was getting, I was getting more irritated getting back up than get, getting down. Now here I found a bird feather, and I pretended it was like a, like a ink and quill, like you know what they used to write with in history. Uh, I was just being goofy, so, yeah. And then here is when, this probably had to be my favorite spot because there was a, there was a lot of uh, things to see, such as actually being up close to sea lions, and I was over there minding my own business, uh, getting some shots. I had seen a lot of clam, uh, not, uh, not clams, but like seashells, uh, probably two crabs that I got a recording of, but you'll probably never see it because this video is short and all. But, the sea lions who, uh, were fighting almost the whole time uh, ever since I got there. There was this one lady who almost got bit just playing with the, the sea lion. Uh, but, I did build up some courage because I was also worried about stepping on rocks and slipping. You want to go take a video of that crab? There's only I mean, not seen crabs on videos before, but I've never actually seen a green crab like that before. I've never seen a green crab at all. Never on videos. I just never knew they existed. Like very cool. I like the vibes here a bit. I mean, it is kind of wet. I guess you could say because of the ocean being nearby. Uh, uh, what else are we talking about? The food, the food is delicious. I did like that one restaurant we went to yesterday that had the, the burger and stuff. I might try the chicken tenders and their pizza next. Uh, macros are good too. Some of the macros are okay, but... Uh, who's, who's, whose birthday is it? It's mine. Say it. My birthday. How old are you? 15 currently, but I'll be turning 16 on the 19th. What season is it? <laughs> you trying to be a smart ass. I mean, I don't know what season it is. It's Virgo season. Virgo season. You know, I don't believe in that stuff. Bye.